Hi, I'm Leslie Kale Villarreal and I just wanted to talk to you guys today about my new gold vault extractor. The model that I have here is Quattro Gold Part 147608 MAIN and it works for both particles and fume. It's a fume extractor and it's a particulate extractor. And you know, as jewelers, sometimes we don't take into consideration how dangerous it is for us to be inhaling the things, you know, the chemical compounds, the soldering fumes, and the debris, the particle debris that we get when we are um, grinding and polishing our pieces. So um, I recently got this gold vault system and I'm gonna show you uh, how wonderful it is and how easy to set it up. If you want to run it, your soldering station is a fume extractor. I'll show you how to do that. And if you want to run it to your bench or perhaps maybe a, a sanding tool, a belt sander, or another device that you might have where you need to absorb those particles, I'm going to show you how to do that too. So it's very adaptable. It's a great little system and it's um, not too intimidating to install. What's really nice about it is that it's kind of compact. It, you know, it's got a nine inch footprint. It's like nine inches square by 19 inches tall. So it's great. And it, it's really quiet too for what it does. And uh, let me just show you. This unit. unit has a three stage filtering process and you might be asking yourself, why do I need three filters? So let's open it up, take a look at the filters and I'll explain. The first stage is an easy to access conventional bag for capturing large particles. The second stage is a charcoal odor filter and it captures fume and smoke odor that the first filter is not able to do. Third stage filter is a HEPA rated filter number F230 and that captures the finest particles of dust and debris. And they all fit nicely into the unit. They stack right on top of each other. You just simply lower them right down inside and add the little screen and put the bag back on top. So it's very, very easy to set up. It has two little uh, ways to lock the top. Very easy. You just latch them down and you're ready to go. Okay. So here on the bottom, you've got a circuit breaker and an on off switch and then your power, which can go max or down you know, softer if you don't need that much much suction. And I have actually hooked up something that's really cool to mine. This is an optional um, unit. Uh, this is a remote control on off switch. So, and that's auto fry number 147634. So if I had this under the bench and I'm grinding away and I just want to turn this on real quick instead of getting up and having to walk over to the unit to turn it on, I can use my foot to turn the unit on. This unit has a variable speed, one horsepower motor. So here I have it on max power. Here I have it on minimum power. But it's actually very quiet in the studio. It's not any louder than my oxygen concentrator for sure. And if I want to turn it off remotely, I can use my foot and just tap on that and it will turn it right off. And I also put some coasters on the bottom of mine because I thought I was going to need to wheel it around, but I really don't. It, it, it really has a long enough hoses where it it's, sits really well right next to my bench. I'm going to show you how to set up the hoses, and first we'll start with the fume extractor side. You ordered your unit just to use with one hose, perhaps just for soldering. You can just connect it with a gray tube and attach it to the end of the uh, gold vault. The unit I have is the standard system and the one I have is adaptable to run two stations at a time. So I have this T connector here. One will connect to my soldering station and the other one will connect to my bench. To set your system up for soldering, you're going to need an additional part. It's 147631. This has the hood and all the connectors to connect it to your gold vault system. To connect the large gray and the small gray hose, I used a white piece of PVC pipe with neoprene. Put the neoprene around the outside edge of the whitest part of the pipe and I slid it into the gray sleeve. I also put some neoprene on the inside of the pipe which allowed the gray hose to fit snugly. They gave me the steel clamp and then I just have to slide the other end of the gray hose into the white and I'm all set. Like I said before, the system is so adaptable you can use all sorts of different types of fittings uh, to get to get it 
to work for you in your environment and whatever works for you. But AutoFry has all of these parts for you. You can call the, our friends at AutoFry and they will give you the tools that you need to get your setup correctly. Now the opposite end of that large gray hose connects to this little black plate. And I have mine bolted down two screws to my top of my bench, but you could also just connect it right on to your soldering station. I secured the gray hose on the black piece with the silver metal clamp that was provided with the kit. Now the black hose can be a little tricky to get together. The best method is to put it down and snap the pieces into each other versus trying to twist them on. So it has an open and close valve and I'm going to connect it up here on my bench and then I'll show you how that works. Hood has this nice little slide closure. closure. So if I'm working at my um, soldering station and I just want all the power to go over now to my um, bench top, I can simply push this and it will stop sucking from this area here where my soldering station is. And it has this great little hood and these all just pop right into each other, these little black um, um, bullets or whatever you want to call them, these little black rotating uh, pieces. They all rotate and you can turn them in any direction and it's very easy to use. You can make it low down to your by your soldering station or you can lift it up. Okay, so you can do it however you like. Okay, so next I'll show you how to connect the jet port attachment to your bench. The jet port which connects to my GRS Benchmate system. It's part number 147032 GRS and it connects right on to the fixed mounting plate of GRS part number 104557. So I can have one hooked up to my fume extractor and the other is going to be hooked up to my bench. And let me just show you this. It's I have my bench mate set up here on my bench. And um, when I'm ready to do some polishing, grinding, or sanding, um, this little unit this little jet port unit will actually protect me from getting, you know when you're doing work and you're getting all those particles in your face when you're grinding your metal, um, which is really awful. You don't want that stuff in your face. You know, I wear a mask, but I can tell you that you, the mask does so much, okay? But this is just great because it actually keeps the particles from hitting your face. I actually once got some stuff in my eye and that wasn't good either. So this, this one has the GRS connections right on the back of it. So all I need to do is slide it right there onto my bench and it stays right there. And I'm while I'm working, I can use my little clip valve to turn it on and I get suction right out of here. So as I'm grinding, the debris will come down. I'm just going to demonstrate the um, face shield and it's really not in my way at all. It protects the debris from hitting me in the face here. And so I'm just going to grind or use my pumice wheel and you know pumice wheel makes a big mess. So I'm going to use it on a piece of silver on a bezel here and it's all getting sucked down right into that little grid and I'm not having any mess on my bench which is really really nice and it protects it from coming up into my face as well. In addition to the suction it also has a nice bench pin if I need to do any hammering and nice comfortable neoprene rest for my hands. It's a little hard to see soldering so I'm just going to light a piece of paper so you can see how it sucks the smoke right up into the fume extractor. You can see the smoke goes right up into the fume extractor and it takes good care of it. The new and improved Quattro Gold Vault system has a 110 or 220 option and you can use this for fume extracting and debris extracting. So it's really an interesting little unit that's small, compact, has a great small footprint, 9 uh, inches square by 19 inches tall. So it's pretty nice and compact and it fits nicely into your studio. It won't be big and in an obtrusive like some of the other uh, systems can be. And quite frankly, I never put one in my studio because I, it, the hood work and all this stuff that I thought I was going to have to do was a bit overwhelming. So now I have this and I'm really now, I had the standard version, but if you're going to be using this in your studio five days a week, you know, seven hours a day, you're going to want to get the HD version. And that would be part number 147608HD main. And that's more suited for production work because it has a stronger motor need. And I think the HD version is a really small um, price increase. It's like $69 or something, uh, depending on when you're seeing this video. So, um, okay. So I hope you like this little video that I made for you. 
and you might consider getting a gold gold extractor in your studio. It's a really wonderful little tool to have to protect our, ourselves as jewelers. You know, you don't want to be inhaling that stuff. Yes, so. This one's pretty affordable for what it is. It's um, I think they run about, well, it depends on which options you get. So uh, the one that I have was $630 and you can get the different parts to go with it. And our friends at AutoFry will help guide you through the process of attachments and hoses and whatever it is to make it work for you in your studio. Okay, so thanks for watching. Okay. So subscribe me, subscribe. And if you like this video, um, tell your friends and we will see you around. Peace out. Come join me at LeslieKaleVillareal.com and we'll make some beautiful jewelry in my online classes.